Hello, it's April 29th, and we are at the end of Luke in chapter 24, and uh, there's a lot of moments in Scripture where I, would, when I'm reading them, I think, man, I wish it would have been there for that particular day and time. And this one is probably at the top of the list for me. It's talking about the uh, road to Emmaus with the disciples after the resurrection. They don't know the resurrection has taken place. There's a couple of disciples who are making their way to Emmaus and they're talking amongst themselves and suddenly Jesus appears with them but they don't know that it's Jesus and they start talking with him about the things that have taken place and and they wonder why he doesn't know what's going on but it's actually they who don't know what's going on and so Jesus turns it around with them and uh, he says this um, he said to them how foolish you are and how slow to believe all that the prophets have spoken did not did not the Messiah have to suffer these things and then enter his glory and beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself. And um, what a wonderful thing it would have been to be there uh, to hear that explanation. Um, I think we can go back to the Old Testament and see many things about Jesus back there. But I think that he probably opened up to their minds many things that we wouldn't have thought about especially as I read through uh, Matthew and uh, other New Testament writers and see some of the things that they see as fulfillment of Old Testament scriptures, where it's not as obvious to me that those are um, intentionally fulfilling Old Testament things. Um, but Jesus was uh, able to open up their minds for them to understand all of that. And I wonder how quickly they were um, able to understand that and what kind of questions that they asked and how he answered those questions and and also how they felt when they finally realized that it was Jesus uh, who had been walking amongst them. And uh, it says that they turned around as soon as they got to Emmaus and they went back to um, go back to Jerusalem to talk about these things with the rest of the disciples. And um, what an amazing just response and uh, moment that must have been for them. Uh, all that disappointment, all of that anticipation. And now uh, finally their, their eyes are opened and they're able to turn around and understand uh, everything that they hadn't been able to understand up until that point. And in some ways, it prefigures the coming of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost, where um, they were able to understand and see things um, from a spiritual point of view a lot more clearly than they had been earlier on. And um, man, what a wonderful experience that is. Um, I think we still have that experience with the Spirit in our lives in some measure. Um, but I think for them, it was kind of an instantaneous uh, aha moment for them. So I kind of enjoy that little piece of scripture there.